us evaluate the integral i equal to integral of e to the power 3 x into sin 5 x dx. In such a kind of integral, we will be applying product rule, which say first function that is your first function into integral of second function. So, integral of sin 5 x minus integral of derivative of first function into integral of sin 5 x dx. Now, integral of sin 5 x is minus of cos 5 x by 5. The same thing here as well, integral of sin 5 x is minus of cos 5 x by 5. e to the power 3 x as it is minus again integral of derivative of e to the power 3 x is 3 into e to the power 3 x dx as it is. We can take constant out of the integration. So, this is equal to e to the power 3 x oh, minus I can write outside minus minus plus 3 by 5. e to the power 3 x into cos 5 x. Now, again we apply integration by part for the second one. This expression we can copy as it is. Again, e to the power 3 x, we regard it as first function. Integral of cos 5 x is sin 5 x by 5 minus derivative of first function minus integral of derivative of first function. Derivative of e to the power 3 x is 3 into e to the power 3 x into integral of cos 5 x is sin 5 x by 5. So, this is equal to minus 1 by 5 e to the power 3 x into cos 5 x plus 3 by 25 e to the power 3 x into sin 5 x then minus 3 into 3 is 9 5 into 5 is 25 9 by 25 integral of e to the power 3 x into sin 5 x. We are lucky enough to get the i once again. So, we can write i equal to the integral that we want to compute equal to minus 1 by 5 e to the power 3 x into cos 5 x plus 3 by 25 e to the power 3 x into sin 5 x minus 9 by 25 times i. Now, can we solve for i? Of course, yes. 1 plus 9 by 25 i 
equal to minus 1 by 5 e to the power 3x cos 5x plus 3 by 25 e to the power 3x sin 5x. Of course, after every integration we have some constant of integration. This expression can be simplified. 25 plus 9 is 34. So, 25 by 34 minus 25 by 34 into 1 by 5 e to the power 3 x cos 5 x. Here we can cancel 25 out and so we have 3 by 34 e to the power 3 x into sin 5 x plus some constant of integration.